My big stupid head. My big stupid head contour. My big stupid head. My big stupid head contour. <laughs> Alright, time to build a fiberglass helmet. I got a big head, so it's going to require a lot of fiberglass and a lot of fiberglass resin. Uh, what I started off with was actually a swimmer's cap to, uh, you know, keep my beautiful hair from sticking to it. Um, and then I used some petroleum jelly over that swimmer's cap so that it wouldn't stick. Uh, I used some, uh, I guess you would call it um, plaster gauze, plaster bandages, um, kind of the same thing you'd make out of a cast. Uh, they're used in sculptures and that kind of thing. Um, put that over my head and then uh, waited until that dried and I had pretty much a perfect mold of the inside of my big stupid head uh, for me to fiberglass inside of that. Um, and it sounds counterintuitive but you actually make a mold of the inside of the, fire, the, the plaster piece and then on top of that mold which I, I did in fiberglass, you fiberglass over top of that mold. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but the reason that you're doing that is because I want this thing to sit flush to my head. And if I molded the fiberglass on top of the first plaster mold that I made, it would have had all these bumps and ridges, and when I took that off, so the bumps and ridges are here, if I had taken that off and tried to put it on my head, it, number one, it would be too large because of the thickness of the, fiber, the, the plaster. Uh, but it would have all these bumps and ridges. So you first take off the plaster piece, you mold the inside of that, and then once you pull that out, now you have basically my big stupid head contour, and then you fiberglass over top of that. And this final piece is what I used. Um, and then I went to my router. First I went to the computer, and I made some patterns, some vent holes that I was going to use that were going to be placed right near and symmetrical to the holes that I was going to cut for my standoffs, the standoff system to keep the LEDs suspended above my head. Uh, the vent holes were going to be kind of like in this, I don't know, like cool little wedge pattern, uh, something I just threw on the computer, printed them out, aligned them with the helmet, and then stuck them on there and made sure that the alignment was perfect. And then I used my drill bit, uh, or, my, or my Dremel, um, to route them out. And it just requires a little bit of steady hand and, and some fine tuning and sanding after that to get all your contours right, but it worked out pretty well. Um, and then the fi very final step is to use Bondo. Um, again, I slathered this thing with Bondo, like baking a cake, and once it dries, you sand it off. So um, in the next video, you're going to see me starting to wire these things up, and uh, hopefully by that time, I would have already sanded the helmet, and you get to see what that looks like with the Bondo sanded down. Stay tuned.